Good evening from the Kingdom of Balance. This is Princess of Balance here with Day 195 of going through the bundle for racial justice and equality of H.io. Today we'll be looking at three more games from this bundle. I do this stream every Monday and Wednesday to showcase three games. Today um, our first uh, we'll be looking at games number 583 to 585. First up we have Ephemera of Evelyn Cott by Attempting Entertainment, followed by The Valley of Superflowers by Ama um, Amazon Games, and ending with Pin Puck by Pat Davis Games. Yeah, it's a very um, different, uh, like, I think that each of the games are very different from each other, but all very unique, at least from the sounds of it. I haven't played any of them as usual, uh, so we're gonna be just um, exploring them together. I think some of these games actually can use a controller, so I'll be using that. Okay. Hi, Shelly. Um, yeah, lurking is good. Thank you for the lurk. I'm. I got hurt a little bit just before I started my stream, so. I'm um it's not too bad it's not as bad as it could have been so i'm i'm glad for that at least this last time i got hurt um in in this way was uh much worse i think i my body has learned to protect itself a little bit <laughs> okay so let's look at the first game So first game we have is Ephemera of Evelyn Cott by Attempting Entertainment. If you look, want to check it out, you can get it at attemptingent.h.io. So it's got a pitch. It starts off with the pitch. It's 30,000 years into the future and as far as art school is concerned the more things change the more things stay the same you take on the role of evelyn cott a creative 20 something with severe motivational problems the end of the semester has rolled around and wouldn't you know it you're late on turning in a few things how long will it take you to muster up the courage to send off those dreaded so sorry but a few things came up here you go type of emails <laughs> This is a story about trying to maintain your mental health and as such has the potential to get in dark yeah, to get dark in spots. Be advised before playing. So yeah, mental health warning. I think I put that in something. Maybe I should um, put it in the uh, tags as well. Not sure if that's gonna work. Okay. It's not gonna be a long game, I think. Uh, huh. It does say, um, is this a demo? No, no, I think it's a full game. Okay. Well, let's try it out. I'm gonna use my controller, see if it, that works. Made for TV, episode one. Oh, does it do full screen? Nope. Okay. And there's very little sound. There's actually no sound at all. That's weird. I thought there was sound. Let me just launch it again. Okay, I went in. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if there is any sound, so we're gonna just uh, try it out. Made for TV episode one, Ephemera of Evelyn Cott. Okay, so clearly controllers don't work here either. So what you doing today? Just trying to get over the uh Naomi? Yeah. Priority email receipt. Hold on, I just got an email from a professor. Oh my god. What? I have how many assignments do you? Oh, Eva, what did you do this time? I gotta go. I'm sorry. I Oh, God. Okay, I better grab my keys and get down to the... to Sculpture 28. I'm guessing some of uh, these pink things are... Oh, I see the keys on the right. What's on the left here? What is this? I should really stop leaving my tablet on the ground. It's getting so dusty. <laughs> you haven't been working on it. What's this thing here? All right, good. I got my studio keys. Time to get to 208. What about this key? Oh gosh, I should put this away. What is it? Oh, is that dildo? I don't know. It looked like a sex toy or a key. I couldn't tell. Oh, no. It fizzed all over my jeans. Oh. It was a drink that fizzed all over the jeans. That sounds like a disaster. That's a huge room, though. I mean, it's like, what? This is for what? It's like an apartment? She's got this bedroom here and these stools. It's a bar stool type of thing and like overlooking the kitchen. Then there's a dining space, the coffee mug, and then there's a computer chair. And this is pretty good for a university student. I mean, I didn't have this much. Where are we at? Uh, we just got out of the that room, the middle section here. Oh god, just so much places to go. Huh. Maybe I should, um... Alright, cool. Got my backpack. That'll make it easier to just grab and go on my shiz. Okay. Okay, what's this pink thing here? Evelyn's room. Okay, I see. Oh, that was, those were lockers. Okay. Hey, why am I here? This is Sculpture 208. Oh, okay. That The class is right there. That's convenient. Oh, thank God my keys still work for painting. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. That's Sculpture 208. We're here. I'm gonna go talk to people. I'm not falling for that one again. What? Oh, what the hell? Why not? Biz. Ugh. So what was that fizz thing? Is that a kitty? Or a bunny? You add, add a pumper snap the murder bunny to your inventory. Oh god, it's a bunny. It's a bunny. Oh, sorry, didn't know you'd be in here. Reverse? Oh. The one that she's trying to get over. Huh? Oh, yeah, no worries, Evelyn. You doing okay? Eh, I've been better, but I suppose that's pretty low bar at this point. I hear you there. I think I saw something of yours in here, but I'm not sure. I uh, read my mind. Thanks, kid. I'll miss seeing you around. Any firms you got on the shortlist? Not yet. Still need to draft up some floor plans. I feel 
good enough about for my portfolio. I got you. Hmm. What are we doing? What's this? What is this? Guess we can't really interact with anything that's blue. Am I supposed to talk to this guy? No? Okay. How do I see my inventory? I'm pressing all the keys to see what works. Maybe the mouse? No? You've added the watcher to your inventory. Gods help us all. <laughs> okay. Evelyn, Naomi. Oh wait, Naomi is the one that she was trying to get over. Evelyn, Naomi. <laughs> okay. Another fizzy drink. I'm not fun. Okay. It's gonna do this with every drink, it seems. Why am I here again? What am I supposed to do? Go to every class. I should probably spend more time turning in assignments instead of spending most of my time crying in the locker room with Penny, pondering the meaning of the universe and Mother Gaia. But you know you can't choose your fate. It's all predetermined. So maybe it's best I just turn back and smoke a jazz cig. Fine, I'll change my destiny, Mom. Uh, is this the bathroom? Okay. Interesting bathroom. What's up with these long hallways? It's like, can't, like you can see the two other hallways, but you can't get there. So how do we turn in assignments? Seems to be all right. Maybe just go past the bathroom. Might be something there. Oh, I can't go there. Hmm. The sign slightly falls from its perch on the wall, revealing the old sign beneath. Jesus, this really was a janitor's closet. Not falling for that one again. Yes, I am. Is this a bug or taut salary? What? At a gross, did you seriously just walk through rat water? All right, well, everyone's got a kink, I suppose. Liquefied rats to your inventory? Wow, okay. Scooping even more rat bile <laughs> into your pocket, okay. A giant floating key? What is this, an RPG? Yeah, seems like it. I wonder what that key will unlock now. How oh, is the same conversation? So, what keys do I press to do what? Hmm.
What is this thing? I can't see my inventory anyway. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. You like garbage. Hi. Hi there, Professor. So sorry that time slipped away from me there for a minute. Okay. Oh. What just happened? What are these things? Because everywhere that I go... Ain't the same as before, the Watcher. People I used to know just don't know me no more. Huh. Hey, there's a bunny. Where's my mind going? Oh, goodness. Floating head go brr. Snap, crackle, pop. Just seem to go around collecting stuff. The hell did this key go to again? I hope this isn't scratched, my goodness. Hope this isn't scratched, my goodness. Okay, let's see what the, this computer says. Okay, still have stuff to do. I'll be right back. So if I can try to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> uh, uh, we are... What? Sculpture 208? Yeah. What's this? Definition of ephemera. One, something of no lasting significance. Usually used in plural. Okay. Someone's burning something here. Naomi. <laughs> okay. Painting. There's a... What is this? We added meditation station stand to your inventory. What? Hey, Pen, you mind if I ask you a question? Sure, shoot. Do you think art school attracts broken people? Ooh, ouch, I'm hurt. I meant just in general, like we're supposed to put a little bit of ourselves into everything we do, right? Keyword there being little, but sure. Right, but like we're never told how much is too much. Then we're just supposed to in into it and either risk putting in not enough and come off co too cold or detach or swing in the opposite direction at the risk of coming off like... Neil Breen and on the B movie circuit. Is this about Naomi? Is it that obvious? Well, look, people can be real paranoid sometime, and even when you think you're taking the right precautions, things have the potential to get real funky. I know it's just broke so. Uh, I know it just broke so bad. Yeah, yeah, it can get like that sometime, but that doesn't make you a terrible person I suppose but that's really hard to believe I know it is kid I know they use the word kid a lot here
Good evening, Jasmine. Um, I'm okay. I I ended up hurting my back a little bit just before I started the stream. So it's not as bad as uh, last time, but it is hurting a bit. Today is my sleep schedule. Uh, today the sleep schedule is off. Oh, okay. I'm getting things sorted for tomorrow. Oh, all right, good. That's good. Today, um, <laughs> I've been up since um, 4 a.m. Yeah. Which is pretty cool, I think. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy um, being up since early morning. Because then I get to relax a lot before I go to work. So that's... Um, that's what's cool about it. Art history. I don't think we went here before. God damn. Is this a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's weird, you know, the whole time thing. Ooh, tackling the big question today, I see. You know, that's how I do, but I guess I just more specifically getting old for the first time in my life. I felt genuinely connected to people that weekend last summer when you invited me and everyone to that cabin up north was incredible. All my pain, all of my worry actually slipped away, just like a stupid pop song. I never felt happier in my entire life. I'll never forget it. You know, I'd do it again in an instant reverse. Thank you. Of course. I'm really gonna miss you. Okay, so we've been collecting pop cans. Oh no. Are we stuck? Oh, no. We managed to get out of there. There's no um, key here this time. Huh. So yeah, I'm happy with my sleep schedule today. Finally, I've been kind of waking up really um, at odd hours the last um few weeks started off since the heat wave the heat wave just like threw off schedule com us threw us off schedule completely and then we did um <laughs> it just hard to got get back but you know today i'm i'm feeling i felt a lot calmer today because i had so much time to do stuff before work started. Hi there, Michelle. Sorry it took me so late, but here's that BSD file you asked for from whenever I go. Forever I go. Okay. All right. So we went into the next phase now. Not now. Okay. How did... What? <laughs> Because everywhere that I do ain't the same as before. And then we got a soda can. I don't know what that was. And this floaty head, floating head go burr. How did, what? <laughs> we got two tablets? I'm low on detergent and seriously need to wash this. <laughs> oh, God. The bunny. Why is there a closet here with a person? Like, what is going on here? Wishing swift healing. Thank you. Yeah, we're in another heat wave too. Supposed to be a lot shorter and not as hot as last time. I'm ready for autumn weather. I it's it's just 
you know, it's just weird today to have this much heat because it's like we're in like what the end of September. Like it's almost like how dare you be so hot. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, um, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, I can guess what's going on with the weather. They're, we're doing climate change. But it's just, you know, aggressive. It's been aggressive this year. Hey, Katie, I was looking for you, actually. Oh, really? Pray tell, what for? A couple of friends and I were headed off to... Uh, via 12 Hall B to grab a couple of drinks, celebrate the end of the semester. You in? You know, I actually think I am. Just give me a few, though. Got a last few things I need to turn in. Oh, come on. Don't let things this be like the last time where you said you were all chill right up until the last second and bail on us. We care about you, Eva, and I, for one, won't let you drink alone. No, no, for real, that'd be extremely nice. I just got to do this for myself, you know. And if you don't hear from me in 30 minutes, please get help. I'll be there with a helmet and a crowbar to pry you away from that shit, I swear to God. I wouldn't have it any other way, thanks. You know, I got your back. What's this thing? You've added jazz kit to your inventory. Okay, now we got like two different songs going on. You just feel like there's some things you can't let go of and that like no matter what, this dumb naggy voice in your back of your head is always going to be there. Oh geez, every day of my life. I swear it's damn annoying. How do you cope? That's for sure. Gah, I'm not sure. I mean, this is just one little pocket of the world, right? What do you mean? I'm talking about art school. It's like, like it's so easy to get tunnel vision. You get so wrapped up in what you produce that eventually becomes the only thing you tie your identity to. It's really easy to get lost in an echo chamber when that's the only thing everyone else seems to care about. Yeah, no, you're totally right. Jesus, you're too smart for this place. Oh, come on, you know that that's not true. Different strokes for different folks, right? For sure, for sure. All right, there's, I think, one more location. What is that? Busy thing. Let's go here first. Got another soda pop. We've added... Yo, what are you doing? Put me down. What the hell? My dad's a lawyer, you know, and my uncle works at Montendo and will IP ban your ass for this? I said, put me down. Oh, you got snacks. Nice. In to your inventory. <laughs> Someone got into our inventory because we have snacks in it. Look, I don't need you to say anything. Just, I'm sorry. She keeps trying to talk to her ex and it gets awkward. Or at least I assume it's her ex. What's this thing? Pardon me, what do we have here? Oh, uh, what? Um, hmm. Shouldn't be able to see this to your pocket, you monster. This thing is alive. Are you really gentle enough to keep this precious dragon from drowning in your pocket gravy to your inventory? That's the same thing. Okay. What's this thing? 
All right, wow, just snooping, scooping I've been more red pile. Okay. This red pile. Okay. Uh, okay, there's a person outside this. Let's grab this key. Meditation station stand. Giant floating key. You're now a god. Oh, this one again. Is it the all the all the music things? Oh, what is that one? What you gained a floating head? Me tube star. Undead memorial. His remains are legendary in a certain fandom or two, if you know what I mean, to your inventory. Added, I don't even know what that is to your inventory. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the jazz kid. Yeah. What's this? You added ball catcher. Uh, pumper snub the murder bunny. The Watcher. Hmm. 30,000 years later and the avalanches are still good. Spencer Bauman. That's my room, Ashley Weimers. Okay. You've added Mosh Pit Tommy to your inventory. Okay. You reached your hand out in anticipation. A small but wizened old man pushes his face up against the grating of the locker and his eyes bulge wildly looking in all direction. You, want, you wonder if you've ever actually looked at another person. The world around begins to pixelate or it would if it wasn't already. You try to look down at your hands but realize you can't look down you're flat, as flat as a pancake. But how would you even know that? How does a man know anything? Different but the flickers of shapes on a wall from a flame behind him, chained to his fellow man in a sedated state. He never questions his place, the meaning, or if there is more. He only knows that he's seen in this moment. Evelyn, your mind is being torn asunder. You are experiencing infinity, and when this is all over, you will go back to your endless loop of self-deprecation. Dirty dorm rooms, friends both too good and too mean to you. You will forget what you saw here and simply reach your, retain yourself to your fellow students and stare at the wall, never to wonder if there is sky outside this cavern. That's a Plato's cave that they're talking about here. Oh, did I miss the dog? The man ever prays, so too goes the bottom of the locker. Not only remains the top, but do you dare touch it as well? You do not know. Let's touch it. Nothing happened. Oh, it's a ladder? It turned red? You added the sparkles, the knife, cat. Oh, it's a cat. Okay. What if I get all the dragons? That's a lot of clicking. Gonna get them all. What about these two?
Uh, how do I get out of here? Is it possible to get out of here? I feel like that, that thing up there is a ladder, but I don't seem to be able to interact with it. Hmm. Not sure what to do here. Oh. The door was in the middle? Oh god. Okay. All right, so we're back to reality. Well, some version of it at least. So now we go here. Interact with the computer. Is there's the jazz kid, but I can't seem to interact with him over there. Terribly sorry about the late assignments, Professor, but I believe this would be the last of what's due. Thanks again for... All right. Dial tone. Hey, Penny, yeah, I'm on my way. Oh, that was it? Cool. So that was episode one. Apparently there's other episodes somewhere. So let's get back here. And I'll get out of there. Okay. Why is it still running? Why is it still running? I don't see it. Um, okay. I don't know what just happened. Okay, anyway. So, um. So that game was weird. I don't think I got all the faces. Because some of these screens look unfamiliar to me. Like that one, I don't remember that one. Hmm. Okay, well there might be more things to explore that I didn't find myself. It's a very surreal um, mental health story about art school 30,000 years in the future. <laughs> it's like, that is a bit extreme. 30,000 years in the future and you still expect art schools to exist? You still expect schools to exist? I think that's a bit optimistic. Still ex expect humans to exist. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that was interesting. So if you want to check out this game, it's free at um, uh, attempting enter attemptingent.itch.io. I think it's available still. Because some of these games I'm noticing have been disappearing from itch, but if you are like already bought it, then you can access it, but otherwise you can't. So the game's name is Ephemera of Evelyn Cott. Okay, so that was our first game. We're going to take a short break and we'll be back with our second one. Our second game is called... Um, the Valley of Super Flowers by Am uh, Amazon Games. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying that out. Sounds interesting. Yeah, so, um, yeah, they, they apparently have like a series of um, made for TV games in, in, the, in their website. The, the one we just looked at was one of them. There's others like it, and they're all free. It's a bunch of interactive fiction. Yeah, not sure what um, if there's any connecting theme between all of them, but um, um, you know, well, there's no harm in trying it out since it's free, right? So, 
uh, we're gonna come back uh, shortly with um, our next uh, the um, I just said it something about flowers the valley of super flowers by Amazon games All right see you in about five minutes hello I'm back so yeah we're gonna be looking at a platformer now I think it's a platformer and it's got it's called the valley of super flowers I did a little bit of stretching because my back is hurting badly since I heard it just before the stream oh god still not as bad as it could have been <laughs> um, while we're here I want to just give some quick shout outs to people so first a uh, shout out to Jasmine T she was playing a couple of uh, demos on Sunday one of them was an indie game it looks super cute it had lots of it's got it had some interesting art I can't fully remember the name um, strawberry something or, or, or sea berry something I think I have it saved I have the link saved I just can't remember it right now um, and the other one was uh, Val uh, Valkyrie Elysium which is different from Valkyria Chronicles which are a different series these are the Valkyrie I know the name of the series I just can't remember now god damn memories you would think I hurt my head and not my back. Um, oh yeah, Valkyrie Profile is the um, name of the series. Anyway, so that's a shout out to Jasmine T. She plays interesting games. Um, and uh, shout out to uh, Shell Smiley as well, who's been coming back into streaming after a while. She's been playing Lake, which is a fantastic story-driven game. Yeah, so that's... Um, yeah, she's got... Now that she's got a powerful computer, she's been playing really cool games. Uh, so yeah, go check her out as well. Okay. So up next, our next game is The Valley of Superflowers. It's only one dollar right now, and you can play, you can pay them more money, obviously, but only one US dollars minimum. So, The Valley of Super Flowers is a 2D platform action game based on the story of the valley, which had been forcefully captured by an evil Satanist ruler. Oh, interesting. Uh, the Valley of Super Flowers was a holy place where flowers have having supernatural ability used to live. Floa, a super flower, was born in this valley. He spent his childhood in the same place and attended schools there. But later, an evil satanist ruler had taken control over the valley of super flowers. The quality of life on the flowers of the flowers living in the area had been declining day by day. Many were having a hard time to live under a roof and were under a strict a satanist military surveillance all the time however the most of the flower world was under the control of the good flowerist ruler Floa had been supported by the police of flowers and they asked him to help them recapture the valley of super flowers and destroy the evil ruler he had accepted their proposal and went to the enemy territory with an aim to free the people of the state from the bad ruler. He saw the living condition of the people in the valley and was sympathetic towards them. Will Floa be able to free the people of the valley from the corrupted ruler? Yeah, that seems pretty um pretty intense, but for a for a super powered flower it might be possible. Twelve levels to play, different kinds of enemies with varieties of weapons, lots of traps and obstacles. Three different firing modes, including primary laser, secondary flower converter, and tertiary mind changer modes. Oh god, wow. Okay. 
uh, three boss battles, collect various items including gold coins, ammo, health boxes, etc. Challenging situations and hard to master. Okay, cool. I see three bars in the screenshot. That kind of implies to me the three powers. Huh. All right, well, let's try it out. I'm going to get closer. Amazon Games, The Valley of Superflowers. Oh, my controller went to sleep. There we go. Alright, new game. Ah, The Valley of Superflowers is a holy place for flowers having supernatural ability born. So, uh, okay, I think it's the same thing we read earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. God damn. Hey guys, I'm Floa the Superflower, but I really don't know why. But my teacher once told me that I had a special purpose for my birth in the Valley of Superflowers. I yet don't know what I should do in this world, but I will probably find out about it soon enough. I don't have the memory of when I was in school, but I still did not forget those words which my senior teacher told me a long time ago. There's there's clearly some memory issues going on here. <laughs> yes, I can vividly remember what he told me. There's a reason why you're called Superflower. It's not only because you were born in the Valley of Superflowers, it is also because you have a purpose in life. But remember what I'm going to say to you now. Always be an honest person. Help those who need you the most and destroy the evil powers. You can also change someone else's heart for the better. If you're going through bad times now, you can never know why this is happening. With you looking forward but looking backward, <laughs> believe in yourself and learn from the failure. Once you do something good for someone, your good deeds will increase and you will be able to use that to restore your health. That's all. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Why am I not moving? I just... We seem to have a bit of um, <laughs> a strain on the graphics card. Oops. That's the gun. Um, we seem to be stuck in this one spot here. Um, oh. Because I was pressing the wrong button? Huh. That would explain it. Ah. Okay. Uh, what are the buttons? It's supposed to work on the controller, but it's not. Maybe I have to restart things. Uh, okay, controller says movement is use reserve health, move right, move left, move right. Um, okay, so if I was playing it in the D one two three. That's kind of odd. Jump is spacebar. Okay. Um, 
Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart. Just in case the controller wasn't registered properly. <laughs> nope, still no response from the controller. Guess we'll have to do it the Jeez. Why is it so slow? Why is the jump so slow? Police Lar 1. Hey Flower, good morning. Wish you best of luck with your endeavor. Sending a superpowered child into this deadly place. It's the only the jumping that's slow. I don't understand why. Okay. Hey, there's something there. Can I reach it? Can I reach it? I think I barely made it. Oh. It's only the jumping that's slow. Everything else is um, normal speed. 60 primary ammo okay it's actually the vertical motion that's um slow so whenever you're falling off a platform or something it's very odd hey super flower you're the only one who can save this world wow no pressure the entire police force can't do anything because this this one flower is so special. Uh, be careful, enemies have already attacked the Eastern Valley. Okay. I wonder if there's any setting I can use. There's no... Oh, there's a shoot on the mouse as well. Ah, interesting. Okay. That could be useful. Um, no, I don't see anything there. What's M and W over there? M and W? That's a weird... Combination. Oh, it's those volumes up and down. Okay. Hmm. Well, the mouse doesn't seem to respond here. Do I load game? Oh, okay. Cool. Still slow. That's okay. gonna tolerate it a bit getting somewhere it's just really annoying that the jump is so slow because jumping is one of the basic things in a platformer see 
see, we gotta jump up there now. This reminds me, it's bringing back memories from. Oh, what just happened? Enemy says, Why did you enter our territory? Go back and we'll spare your life. Shut up. I did not come here to retreat. Say your prayers because I will destroy the evil flowers like you. Leave the valley at once. Well then, you have lost your chance, Superflower. We will capture every plot of the valley of Superflowers. Comrades, prepare yourself for battle. Bring it on, crowds. Collect all of the gold coins. Use your weapon to eliminate enemies. Only you have the power to use it. Why? It's a gun. So gold coins aren't optional here. We have to collect all of them. Oh, there's spikes over there. secondary weapon? Yeah. That's the secondary weapon. Trying to avoid that spike. Makes it easier with the uh, <laughs> with the slow jump. Maybe I need to go from here. Yeah. There we go. Let's go through here. Is there enemies coming? I'm gonna shoot my gun anyway. Oh, these flowers. Our balloons are stuck in the tree above. Uncle, I want it now. Ah, uh, okay. I'm here to do other things, not get balloons. Anyway, I'll get your balloon. I'll try to get your balloon at least. Oh my god, how tall is my jump? I thought I had enemies to shoot. I don't see any enemies. I don't, can I reach that? No, it's not a mask. This is called the Valley of Super Flowers. This, this super flower has been told by his old teacher that he's meant for greatness and he's like trying to rescue the the area of the valley that's been taken over by an evil ruler the story sounded really silly i'm having trouble with this um vertical motion my graphics card clearly can't handle it is a shame for a platformer. <laughs> Specifically since I need to grab all the gold coins to exit the level. Oh, come on. There's flowers that are clearly like sentient humanoid flowers and then there's the regular flowers in the background which you know that kind of thing doesn't really make sense to me often. I know a lot of games and cartoon worlds have that but I find that really confusing. Oh, what? oh god. Suddenly they showed up. Oh my god, your jump is so high. God. So much violence. All for gold? Why does this valley look so happy if it is oppressed? 
you know, important question. E. Wow. Like, completely, de completely decimated by that one trap. He took so many bullets, but he can't handle that one spike. Yes, that's the weakness to his superpower. He can handle bullets, but he can't handle spikes. Spikes are his kryptonite. Okay, I don't know what the two does, but let's try it out, I guess. Uh, let's try firing mode two. Oh, I wonder what that does. I guess we'll have to shoot enemies and find out. No, 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 no. Oh, missed some coins down here. Let's take a trip down. Take a moment. Because it's so, like, I don't know why, why it's so slow. Okay, I didn't see any of your balloons while I was up there. I don't know what you're talking about. No, don't, don't touch that. Last time you touched it, it wasn't good. Alright, now let's see. Oh, it's way up there maybe. But the tree keeps going. And there's all these platforms. All right. So, are the enemies still here? They're still here. Oh. What? Um I don't know what just happened there. Oh, they shoot as well. doing something. We're creating plants here. So this weapon that I'm using has a different effect. Can I get up on these? Nope. Okay. All right, let's not touch that spike again. Let's try to find a different way of Oh, maybe I can get up on this thing. Um, no, not that far. Just, just, just stay out of range. Oh, there's the, there's the balloon. I see the balloon now. It's way high up there. And honestly, this is not even a tree. This is... What is this? Oh god, I almost touched that. No, 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 don't touch that. Don't touch that. Don't... Uh, come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, cool. No touchy. No touchy. Okay. Which balloon is yours? There's two of them. I didn't give the child the balloon back, I just picked it up for him. I don't care about the other balloon. Oh, is that health? That might be health. going because of the box? Hmm. Yeah, the, I'm having trouble with the jump. 
uh, there's something wrong with my, my like for some reason my graphics card can't handle the jump or something it is the worst thing to lag in a platformer game any vertical movement actually oh enemies oh no I'm out of bullets Somehow is out of bullets up for that one. Oh. My god. When they show up, they just show up in a massive crowd. See, I, I got hit many times, but I just, like, I didn't lose very much health. But one little touch of one of these spikes and you have to start again from the beginning. That is hardcore. I guess the spikes are his kryptonite. Shouldn't have jumped. That's a waste of time. There's some over here. Oh, apparently you can get keys at some point. Hopefully this gonna work differently in a... in a different uh, computer. Maybe on Windows 10 it'll be okay, or even in Windows 11. Oh god, there's enemies. They have like spears. They have spears that shoot bullets. Is it pretty loud? I think it's a bit loud. Okay, we're gonna turn it down a bit. What? What? Are those temporary platforms? Seems like it. Yeah, there you go. bullets here I'm missing a lot of gold coins and honestly I don't know if I can track all of them If I were to try to do a speed run of this, I don't think I will succeed. Not at this computer, at least. Good job, you took out someone smaller than you with a gun. I mean, he had a bigger gun, that's okay. But, just the principle of it. It's a bit questionable. Ow, don't touch the spike. Oh, I didn't die. That's pretty amazing. Oh, 
Where did these guys come from? They weren't there before. Ow. So much processing from these jumps. can't get there. I don't think I'll be finishing this level. What are you shooting at? I'm over here. You exit the level once you collected all the coins. I don't think there's anything else I can see here. Um, how do I save? I guess I don't. Okay, so uh, as we can see from the screenshot, there's a quite a lot of different types of levels here. And hopefully in your version... Um, in Windows 10 or 11 or something, it's going to work more smoothly because I think it's meant to work more smoothly based on the screenshots, what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I'm just, uh, my computer is just slow for some reason today for this one. Right, so that was um, uh, Valley of Super Flowers and um, it's by um, Amazon Games. You can get it at amazongames.h.io. That's amazon-games.h.io. And there's the link again. Well, that was a hard one to go through with all the jumps. A platformer where the jump doesn't work properly is like uh, it's like the worst thing, uh, worst experience. But I'm sure it's just my computer where this is the case. Okay, so that was our second game. Yeah, I'll need to take a long rest after this because my back is really hurting now. I shouldn't have bent down. I'll need a lot of lumbar support. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to take a break again. Five minutes break and I'll be back with our last game of tonight's session, which is called uh, Pin Puck by Pat Davis Games. Hello, I'm back. Whew, wow. <laughs> so our next game is, um, it seems to be um, some sort of a virtual ice hockey inspired game. So um, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. So this game is um, about, it's by, um, it's called Pin Puck and it's by, uh, Pat Davis Games. You can get it at patdavisgames.h.io. I'm gonna grab the link for you. So it looks like it's free right now. Um, and I think it's been free for a while. But as usual, you can pay however much you want. So Pin Puck is a high speed local multiplayer ice hockey inspired game for one to four players. The aim is simple. Sink the puck into your opponent's goals to score. The pin, it's this thing. Uh, the curves on the front and side of the pin makes maneuvering the puck a difficult task. 
Rather than going directly for the puck, it's often much more effective to control the puck from the side in a circular motion. This makes the game a little difficult to begin with, but allows for a much greater level of precision and skill once the basics have been understood. Yeah, I tried the tutorial. <laughs> it's really hard. Battle it out in local multiplayer across 11 different arenas. 11, wow. Test yourself against the clock in 8 different single player target smash levels. Play 1 versus 1, 2 versus 1, or 2 versus 2 matches against your friends. Supported controllers, quite a lot of them. Hmm. Yeah, all these controllers are supported. I have an Xbox 360 one, so we're gonna use that. Okay, let's try this out. I'm gonna get uh, closer, maybe. Uh, I don't need to today for this one. There we go. And it looks a little weird with the borders cut off like that. Um, I'm gonna do single player, level one. Ooh, let's try level one first. Oh wow, those are really ambitious timing. I don't think I can get there. Let's see. So I gotta touch those pink ones. Oh, okay. We got the first one. Come on. Come on. Okay, got the second one. Ah. Okay, that's like that's a that's a 50% improvement. <laughs> from my practice run. Uh, didn't get a bronze, gold, or silver, but let's try it again. Yeah, two, okay. No, no not there. Um. Eighteen? Okay, eighteen. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's try it again. But almost got that one. Alright. Oh, got stuck on that side. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, no, not up, not up. Uh, come on. <laughs> yeah, not happening. Trying this with two players is just... I can't imagine fighting anyone off with this kind of control. <laughs> wow, 35. That's worse. Okay. Let's go again. Let's go again. Up. Uh, yeah. Oh. C circular motion. Ooh, 17. That's an improvement. Can't really change direction. Oh wow. Seven seconds. I did it in seven seconds. Did you all see that? That's amazing. That's like that's a bronze. I got my bronze. I don't think I can do silver, but I mean it's good practice. Oh, touch. Touch is enough. Not like that. Not like that. 
Ah, gut. Ah, uh, 17. Huh? Good practice. I accidentally got bronze there. Because I definitely don't have control over this. It's all luck. These are like... These are like, you know, jets pretending to be hockey... Hockey, um... What did they call it? Hockey sticks? Yeah. 17 again. That seems to be my standard. No, 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 no. Oh. Come on. Is it a... I took you away from it instead. Ah. 16. Not bad. Come on. Alright. Ten? Oh, ten. Wow. That's pretty good. Oh, that was a good move. Accidental, but totally good move. Uh, almost. Oh, uh, come on. No, 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 no. Ah. Eleven. Okay. Wrong direction. Okay. This actually hurts my hand to do this. It's but it's making me forget my back pain, so that's kind of cool. 13 Oh, nice. 8 Got eight this time. That's pretty good. Practice. Whoa, six. Six point three eight. Oh my god, I got silver. Can you believe that? I got silver on this. I didn't I never thought I'd, I'd even get bronze. Nope, not like that. Oh, don't don't throw it off like that. There's no slow movement in this one. that one fourteen uh, not that direction okay that's okay twelve hmm. bad. I'm slowly getting the hang of it. It's just to grab it first and the grabbing is the hard part because you cannot grab it like head on. 
you have to gra grab it from the side and that's like s has to be so precise and if you go too fast at a certain angle then you lose it I guess that's the that's the point ooh Oh, five seconds, 5.25. Ah, oh, still not enough for gold. You have to do four seconds for gold. Can you imagine that? Okay, after this, I'm gonna try the second level. So, level 2, bronze is 10 seconds, let's try this, there's 4 of them, 4 targets. up come on come on come on there 39 seconds good to start with Twenty-three. Okay, that's a huge improvement. Oh my god. Forty-six, that's even worse than the first time. Okay, come on. There we go. Two. Good job. Just wish I could grab onto it. I bet real life hockey is easier than this. I feel like I can do this better if it was a physical object rather than a digital one. 28, okay. Too. Okay. No. Twenty-eight. 
25. See, there's an angle you can hit it at to make it fly off. But I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I've done it accidentally. Oh, come on. That was close. Oh, come on. It's so close. <sighs> oh, my God. I just need you to just, just hit this spot here. Come on. Come on, just this spot here. God damn. Did you just do you see that? Do you see that? Do y'all see that? Like it's just hitting everything except for this spot. Oh 63 seconds. That's how much time it wasted me. Ooh, 13 seconds. That's the best one I had so far. Eighteen seconds there. There is no AI involved. Like that's that's the worst part. It this is all me and me lacking skills. There is no there's like no AI here. There's no one against me. It's just the physics of the of the game. Like the 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 puck doesn't move on its own. It's it's only physics. It's just I have such a hard time controlling this. Sixteen seconds. That's getting better for sure. This is takes so much skills. Good job. Come on. Doing that thing again. There. 25. <laughs> yeah, we can blame a non-existent AI for sure. We could do that. Ten seconds, ten eighty five. Did I get it? No. I needed ten point twenty to get bronze. So close. We can blame the fact that the AI is uh, not helping me out by being absent. You know, those like in in Resident Evil, uh, the remastered version of Resident Evil, the remakes, uh, constantly remind, if you miss shots too many times, it constantly reminds you that, oh, you know, you could switch on assist. You can switch on targeting assist. Then you'll die less. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like... I don't want to do that. And but it's like, oh, but you can. But once you switch it on, you cannot switch it off again. And then it tries to accidentally... Like, it, it tries to force you into it. Like... It, like... Almost switches it on for you. Without, like... Giving you time to think. And it's just like... Why, game, why are you like this? Why are you trying to force a choice on me? And then not let me take that choice back. I was very frustrated with that kind of thing. So yeah, AI help is missing here. 17 seconds. Come on, you almost reached it. If you had just a bit more speed, that would have worked. I can't imagine playing this in two players. I can't imagine the amount of effort it might take. See, like, uh, circling around like a hawk. Whatever these were, these pucks, they were like, probably they were like supposed to be jets or something. And they're like, oh, we want a career change. We want to be hockey pucks. Come on, stop being in this corner. I need you to leave the corner. My god. This is a very queer game, you know why? Because because you cannot go straight no matter what you do there's like no way to move straight walk straight throw straight like there's nothing straight about this game That's not a complaint. I mean, I, I, I don't want to ever do things straight, but this is a bit ridiculous. I'm gonna try the third one after this attempt. The one that's even harder than this. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Okay, Puck, I know you like that corner, but we have to go here. There we go. Uh, wow, well, my god, I did that. What is this thing? What is this? 
11 seconds? Are you kidding me? Can you imagine getting stuck in one of those corners and then eh, like almost happened. No, 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 don't go there, don't go there. That's like the worst place you can be. The star shapes make me, prevent me from doing circles because there's not enough space to do circles. So we have to do like tiny space maneuvering. Honestly, the text is in the way now. Okay. 55 seconds. Okay. You can't possibly have a lot of space to make mistakes here. Somehow, you're still missing the spots. 22 seconds. Okay, that's a huge improvement. Almost got that one. Oops. Don't go into the corner. Don't go into the corners. No, I told you not to go into the corners. Okay, if you're gonna... Oh, God. Now you're stuck in that corner? Okay, no. To go around a bit to unstuck you. Come on, it's right there. Hitting everything but that spot. Three seconds. No, don't go into that corner. Oh, my wow, God, that was good maneuvering. Nineteen seconds. like I I get like three of them really smoothly and then I spend forever on the last two when things are going well I get like I start screwing up seconds okay
Honestly, those texts are actually getting in the way. It's odd. I didn't expect that to happen. No. See, it went straight that time. That's when you know you're screwing up. When a game the way you're not supposed to go straight, you start going straight. My god, these star shapes. Once it touches a star, it's like, can't get it out and easily. Four. Oh god. That corner is so terrible. Ah, oh, 19 seconds again. I was doing 30s and then 19 now again. Ah, gets stuck and the only way to move it forward is to push it from the other side. Uh, but the puck is not big, uh, small enough to pass through the gap. So it's like you can only push and then you have to go around. It's very uh, well designed, like the thought about the complexity of it. Oh god. Oh no. Didn't, wasn't in that corner before. These star corners are terrible. They're such... Such difficult obstacles.
It went right by it. No, don't st get stuck on that. Wow, it was going in the right direction until I got in the way. Hmm, 28. Alright, I'm gonna try the next level. Why is this hard? Is this supposed to be hard? This one looks really weird. What's the problem here? Is there like not enough space to spin? Is that the problem? Huh? Okay, I guess I have to be really, really fast. I got bronze really easily in this one. That's kind of odd. Why is this a later level if it's gonna be this easy? Okay, it's it's still challenging because you still have to get do it really fast. And then you screw up because it's hard to maintain that momentum. Oh, it does require you to be really, really fast in this one. And you can't go straight, so...
416 is that no still not silver silver is three seconds it's under four seconds that's a like can't imagine that I'd like to see someone do it that fast. I'd like to see someone get gold. I imagine that if I hit this fast enough that they will bounce off of each of them on their own. Okay. I didn't expect to spend this much time on this game. But it's really engaging. I almost had that one. Just need. But I can't seem to get under four seconds. Like, that seems to be my limit. Maybe I'm supposed to use the bouncing off walls or something. Or bouncing off the targets. That could be a thing. Okay, let's check out the ne Wow, okay. Ah, what? How are you supposed to... How... How is... Oh... Okay, so we'll have to go... To oh god, it's, uh, it's got screen wrapping. This is gonna be a nightmare. This is just a single player mode. This is supposed to be normally played by uh, two players. Uh, two players or more. Uh, you're supposed to... There's goals and stuff. There's goal posts you have to... Um, you know, opponent's goal posts you have to go beyond. meant to be hockey. Uh, 
I'm just playing the single player mode because I don't have access to a second player. Come on. Stop circling around the... Oh, come on. I don't know if it's as enjoyable to watch as it is to play, but um, I'm finding it very engaging to play this. Okay, so that's a uh, fifth. Oh God, look at this one. This one is, that looks like a nightmare. Yeah, I can't even touch it. Oh my god, now you're stuck in the corner. Can't even... I don't know how to remove that. Like, I can't even... Oh, look at that. Like, it can't, it can't even, like... Move it now. It's like... Ah. What can I do to get it out? That's it. That's not moving anymore. Just, just keep going. This should be on ice. If it was on ice, this would have gone on way longer. There's too much, there's a lot of friction on the, on the floor. No, don't go to that corner again. Uh, 11 is pretty good. 11 is uh, pretty close to bronze. No. Ah, those corners are terrible. Ah. Oh, ten thirty. Oh, I got bronze. Wow. <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, look at this disaster. <sighs> okay, well, there's a lot of levels here, and they're really interesting. So, multiplayer involves two, 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 uh, two to four players, I think. Yeah. And you can have two versus one, you can have two versus two, you can have one versus one. There's, like, many combinations. But, um... Yeah, that was very interesting. It's good that they included a single player mode as well because I had I spent like probably half an hour on that at least. So that was um a pin puck by Pat Davis Games.
can check it out at patdavisgames.h.io. And it's free. Okay, so that was our third game of today. So we're gonna be, uh, that's our, that's it for our day 195. Um, yeah, today we looked at, uh, Ephemera of Evelyn's, Evelyn Caught by Tempting Entertainment, The Valley of Superflowers by Amaxan Games, and Pin Pug by Pat Davis Games. The music on this stream is by Andrew Sitkov, and the sounds are by Shayforms. The arts are by myself and Rifna. If you want to check out Rifna's profiles, um, just type in exclamation artist and you get the Red Bubble, Pinterest, and Twitter. Um, I'm going to be doing another indie stream this week. Well, at least I'm planning to do an indie stream this week um, on the 28th of September, Wednesday, at 6 p.m. Pacific, the usual time. Um, we are going to be also trying to gonna we're gonna we're planning to come back with our control stream on Friday the 30th. I'm I'm analyzing the Remedy Connected Universe. Um, but primarily playing control because that's the hub world that connects all the lore. It's very interesting to talk about all that. So that's on Friday. Um, in the meantime, let me see if I can find someone to raid. <laughs> 